There's a lot of definition to drop shipping, but like I think drop shipping is here to stay, depending on how you kind of like uh, approach this business. Recently, like probably in past few years, is like um, kind of like overstocking in products. Okay. So I mean that is why we still like drop shipping's um, you know business model. I mean there's a lot of definition to drop shipping, but like I think. Drop shipping is here to stay, depending on how you kind of like uh, approach this business. Like you could, I mean, doesn't matter if you're doing drop shipping or brands, it's still like shipping from like, a, uh, like China or US. It's all about customer support, experience, and everything. So, one thing we did last time was like, um, we we're really confident, like one product, and yeah. um, you know, probably prior to Chinese New Year. So, we kind of wanted to give like a super fast shipping time or uh, so we stock about 500,000 worth of one product. And after Chinese New Year, like probably a lot of competitors, a lot of spies and everything. So the product sales just dipped. It took us a very, very long time to kind of like um, sell out all our inventory. So one thing we kind of be very careful right nowadays is like we don't really overstock way too much. We okay. kind of like um, our inventory forecast is done probably more accurate nowadays compared to the younger days. So I think having, um, so when we hired our warehouse kind of like um, associate and manager, he kind of gave us a very good kind of like um, inventory forecast strategy for us to kind of like procure sufficient only enough like goods instead of like stocking four or five hundred thousand and like you know you're gonna run into cash flow problems yeah. if you're not able to sell out all your products yeah absolutely okay but how Evan how if, if you continue with that mm -hmm. how do you actually manage then keeping the right balance of products because mm -hmm. obviously you don't want to dry want to run dry either that's what happens dry to a lot run dry on inventory, oh, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's probably one of the worst things that can happen. Like you have this campaign and it rocks, you sell. And so right now for us, I mean, for us, we use a hybrid system. Like yeah. most people call drop shipping is like you don't have any stocks. But yeah. I mean, if you're running volume, you need to have some stocks for sure. So what we do actually, we do a hybrid system where we actually, so let's say day one, we sell 100 piece. So instead of buying just 100 pieces, we'll probably buy 200 piece so that it can last for the second day as well. Right. So I mean, on the day two, let's say we sell 150, we still have a surplus of say 50. So we can decide from a day-to-day -day basis on each product how much more we want to order. So we never run dry, but we never overstock as well. Okay, that yeah. makes a lot of sense. Cool.